Hey guys, this is Bane here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving a bit of a walkthrough on how to clear Starlight Sanctuary King of the Gods with Nephthys. And first, I'd like to go over a couple different potential team compositions. Um, this is the standard team that I use Nephthys, Haku, Echidna, Grape Dragon, and Vampire. Uh, but there's a couple uh, different subs that you could use if you don't have Haku or Grape Dragon. Uh, Grape Dragon is definitely a great sub for Nephthys though if you, you know, are, are lacking a lot of different REM subs uh, in that he covers Dark and his Orb Enhance and Row Enhance Awakenings really add to the Dark damage that your team outputs and of course his other Awakenings are very helpful too. And his active skill also is very nice uh, because it combines with Vampire's Heartbreak skill to allow you to get a significant amount of burst damage with Nephthys. So <clears throat> this is the standard team that I'd recommend. Uh, it really helps if you have Grape Dragon for this because his dark damage resistances help you tank through Tiamat and Chaos Devil Dragon if you don't have a, an option to burst through them. And also his awakenings really add to the damage output against Zeus. But if you don't have him, it's okay. And likewise, if you don't have Haku, there's some other subs that you can use instead. Uh, Echidna and Vampire are pretty much mandatory uh, subs for you know someone who's starting out with Nephthys, and you should really be working towards having them if you don't have them already and you're a newer player. So let me just show you a couple different options that you can use. Um, when I started out, first I used Awoken Hera and Divine Queen Hera, obviously. Her evolve form works just as well. Uh, Hera is helpful if you don't have enough damage to kill Zeus in one shot. Uh, her gravity will pretty much bring him down to what should be within your burst damage range. <clears throat> the downside with Hera is her gravity takes a long time before it's ready, so you'll have to stall for a number of turns <clears throat> Excuse me, at the beginning of the dungeon uh, before you get to Zeus for her gravity skill to be ready. And other options that you can use are Grips Rider, Vector Finn, uh, if you have a, an additional Orb Changer such as Sleeping Beauty, uh, Chaos Devil Dragon, those work too. Chaos Dragonite Voice can work. You just want a good dark sub that either gives you Row Enhance Awakenings or another Orb Changing Active Skill. And as I said, bring Echidna and Vampire. If you don't have Grape Dragon, you can use Chaos Dragonite Voice, who's pretty easy to farm for, uh, from Sky Dragons or Legendary Dragon's Footprints or his own survey dungeon that comes around occasionally. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started here. And I'll use one of my Nephthys friends that doesn't have many plus eggs to simulate, you know, if you instead were running the dungeon with your own Nephthys with not many plus eggs but a Hypermax friend. So I'll take this one here, ready to go. So the first couple of floor, you know, the first seven floors are pretty straightforward. You know, just do regular combo stuff to clear the trash monsters. If you need to stall, you can do a combo like that with your off colors. If you're running a team that doesn't have, uh, say, light, you can just match, you know, three orb combos of light to stall. You know, so if you have, especially if you're running Hera on your team and you need to stall for a long time, this would be how you do it. And you just have to try a couple times to get an accurate gauge of your team's damage output to see uh, how much damage you need to do to not kill off the entire wave of monsters, but enough that you kill all but one.
Alright, so again, on this floor I'll try and show again how you can try and stall, so I'll match my colors except for dark. And that should be enough to kill a couple of the small bits and leave the big demon alive. Yeah. And then I can just match three darks only, that should be enough to kill him, no. But you can get the idea on how to stall here. You know, just don't match dark orbs if you don't want to kill all the monsters. So we're up to floor 7 now, and next floor is going to be Tiamat. So what I'd like to try to do is to save up my Dark Orbs a little bit if I can. Uh, so I'll be trying to use at most one combo of Dark Orbs here. that you do this, uh, but it does help you uh, have an easier time on Tiamat so that you don't have to take a hit from him. Uh, but it, he only hits you for 14k every two turns, and if you have Grape Dragon that's cut down 10% to about 13k or high, uh, like 12,800. So here we go. Um, Yeah, you can usually kill him with one uh, good combo if your team has enough levels and dark attack, but if not, um, it's not really a big deal if you take a couple turns to kill him, since usually you shouldn't have a problem healing up. And he survived just a little bit, so that's okay. If you do get hit, you should try to make use of uh, the extra turn that he'll give you in between his attacks to heal up so that you try and go into floor uh, 9 with full health if you can. So Chaos Devil Dragon uh, can be a bit of a difficulty for some teams. If you have a sub such as Haku or you know, Grips Rider, if you have... <clears throat> Alright, first, you want to save two orb changes for Zeus. You want to be able to change at least two other color orbs to dark for Zeus. So in this case, I have Grape Dragon will make lights to hearts and then vampire turn those hearts into dark orbs so lightened hearts will become dark so that's my burst for Zeus and if you have another sub that has an orb change you can use it here against cast devil dragon and also if you have a board that has a lot of dark orbs feel free to use one of your nephthys actives here because you only need one for Zeus with the right team and lastly, Echidna, you can use her if absolutely necessary. If 
you're fighting Cast Devil Dragon, and his next attack's gonna kill you because you couldn't heal up in between his attacks. You can use Echidna, and then try and heal yourself back to full health before you get to Zeus, so that you have enough health to take one hit from him to set up your board uh, for your burst. But ideally, you wanna save Echidna, and <clears throat> save, save Echidna for Zeus and just kill him with regular attacks or your other, you know, your flexible subs orb chains if you have one. And if he's not going to attack you, try to save your hearts if you're going to grind him out so that you have enough hearts left to heal up from his attacks. Alright, so this would have been a good turn to use uh, Nephthys active, since I matched a lot of Dark Orbs there, but I didn't think to do it. Alright, so we took a hit, and a Nephthys team, you know, with this team composition, if all your subs are max leveled, and you have at least one 297 from your friend, leader, say, uh, you should have about 5,000 recovery. So that means if you match two combos, if you match one heart combo and four other combos, you can heal about 10,000 health. So in between his attacks, if you match at least two heart combos in the two turns that you have, you can generally heal, enough, heal up enough health to take another hit from Chaos Devil Dragon. And again, it helps if you have the 10% dark damage resist from Grape Dragon, but it's not absolutely critical that you have that. Okay, so I'm at Zeus now. His next attack is going to kill me, so I'll use Echidna. And what we want to do against Zeus is set up our board so that when we use our two orb changers, for me, Grave Dragon and Vampire, to make light and hearts into dark orbs, we'll have a very dark heavy board with at least uh, two other combos between red, blue, and green. To activate Nephthys' leader skill. So here I'm going to clear a couple red and green orbs. And you have a couple turns to do this. So you know, don't feel too rushed. Now let's see. I have five red orbs. I could probably kill him with this board but I'll do one more match away of my extra orbs here. Right, and now this is going to be a really nice board, so we use Scrape, Vampire, Nephthys. And you can just make a real easy combo like this. And kaboom, Zeus dies pretty easily. So I hope that helped anyone who's having a hard time running King of the Gods with Nephthys. Uh, pretty much, uh, you can do this with an entirely farmable team. As I said, you can use uh, Awoken Hera or Divine Queen Hera, uh, cast Dragonite Voice, cast Devil Dragon. You know, all those subs work for farmables. If you have, say, Grips Rider, Pandora, Haku. Um, you know, Hanzo, any dark sub with a row and an orb change, dark Metatron is good too. Um, you can use them as well, just you want something that will give you a lot of dark damage for your burst against Zeus. Alright, and if you have at least two orb changers for Zeus, you can generally do like I just did and kill him in one shot with a good setup on your board. Alright, and hope this helped everybody out there, and that's it.